Welcome back to VHS Tacos, everybody, for another Blu-ray 4K Steelbook unboxing. And this one's a little bit different because we have Top Gun Maverick, finally, but it's not an exclusive. For starters, this steelbook is glossy all the way around, top, bottom, front, and back on the front. We are greeted with the man, the myth, the legend, the named himself, Tom Cruise, a.k.a. Maverick, in jet, going over an aircraft carrier. It's a great looking image. Of course, the nice warm colors are beautiful, contrasted against the very cold steeliness of the jet itself. It looks great. Gotta admit, though, the title, even though the title is stylized and it is dead center, you know, it, it kind of goes with everything there. Kind of wish it wasn't there. I do personally believe that this would look better without it. That brings me to the back where we do have Maverick again, front and center with the rest of the squad on either side and behind it looks great. This is a great looking image. I love kind of like that 50-50. So you get the cold steeliness of the water and the jets and everything like that on the bottom. Of course, broken apart a little bit by Tom Cruise himself and Mav's helmet. But then on the top half, even though it's a little bit dark up in the top left hand corner, it's that great, great big blown out contrast of the sun dead center. And then of course that warmth going into the clouds in the rest of the sky it looks great and then of course i love i love i love the fact that the logos the logos aren't just small at the bottom but they're also in the same color as the jets so they almost kind of blend in a little bit to where you don't even really notice them if we could just get those logos off of there for good this would have been great it can't all be peaches and cream because on the spine we do have a great steel background with Top Gun Maverick stamped right there but not on the center which is annoying and again I get it because of the title and the stylization and the font size and everything like that they couldn't have made it too too big but can we please please at least make the Ultra HD Blu-ray on the far right a wee bit smaller if you don't mind. Now I'm not going to sugarcoat it. The discs are whack. You know, I mean, you got the black disc for 4K. You got the blue disc for Blu-ray. I mean, this, whatever. For as bad as the disc art is, what makes up for it is this inside image. Of course, on the left, kind of going off screen, out of frame, we do have Tom Cruise, a.k.a. Maverick, of course, on a motorcycle. Because what else would Tom Cruise be on unless it was his feet sprinting across? And then on the right side, even though it's kind of... Hard to see, a little blown out there. Let me go ahead and fix that for you. We do have the jet coming in. Again, almost entirely there, but a little bit is off screen. It's nice. It shows that nice momentum of it going, of there being some movement. Of course, you do have some of the blur at the bottom. And again, top half, blown out, bright, super high contrast. Bottom, kind of dark, a little bit hard to see in some of the shadows, the warmth coming through. This is a really, really solid design on the inside here, and I really appreciate that. Top Gun Maverick is finally out today, Halloween, on a Monday, which is a little odd, all things considered. Most new movies usually don't come out except for a Tuesday, but hey, if Paramount wants to go ahead and put this out on a Monday after making us wait all of these months since it premiered in theaters in May, that's okay. I'm just finally happy to have it. Now, you have a plethora of choices to pick from depending on what your poison is. You got your standard DVD, you got your standard Blu-ray, you got your standard 4K, you got the 4K Steelbook. Here, you have a two-pack 4K, which comes with, of course, Top Gun 1 and Top Gun Maverick and a nice, yeah, honestly, the cover for it is pretty nice. You do have the regular Steelbook, which you can get pretty much everywhere. Best Buy and Target. Target does have it on sale. It's like five bucks off. However, after the last mishap that I've had from Target, as seen here, no thank you. I'm good. And then Walmart coming in clutch with an exclusive. They do have a Steelbook with a lenticular magnet that goes on the cover. However, according to some folk out there who have gotten their hands on it early, this magnet is not a perfect fit. So it kind of sits like a little bit off center. You do have a little bit of a regular border around it, which it's a good thing I didn't go for that because that's kind of irritating. And then of course, 
If you are a diehard fan, if you know someone that's a diehard fan of all things Tom Cruise, of all things Top Gun, you have the ultimate collector set where you can get Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick in Steelbook in a beautiful looking box set for a price that hurts me emotionally and financially. If I would have gotten that, wouldn't be here today to tell you about this because I'd already be six feet under thanks to Mrs. Taco. Overall, extremely happy with this steelbook. For the most part, there are some design choices that I wish they would have fixed. Not overly fond of the discs. Not overly fond of, you know, the big old title there front and center and then the title being off center on the spine itself. But that's just my personal opinion. If you guys have had a chance to get your copy already early, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys plan on picking up one of the billions of other options out there, of course, let me know down in the comments below. And until next time, guys, this has been VHS Tacos signing off. I'm going to get the need for speed to put this in my player so fast it blows out the speakers instantaneously. Adios.